This is my gyroscope balanced uh, two-wheeler. <clears throat> you can see uh, it's got a couple of airplane wheels here and they are uh, this is my gyroscope uh, balanced two-wheeler and uh, it's a little platform with uh, two airplane wheels and they are rounded wheels they are not the flat so they will not balance uh, by themselves it takes the gyroscope to balance it and uh, I used acrylic rulers for uh, a frame for the gyroscope and uh, a motor uh, DC motor mounted on the top and uh, the, ro the uh, gyroscope itself is just four uh, CDs uh, squished together with hot glue and held on with the airplane propeller uh, adapter that you use for RC aircraft. And uh, the, the gimbal is uh, just an axle I made out of uh, uh, fishing pole tubes. Uh, hot glued to a piece of plywood and uh, the motor is just kind of bolted onto that and I tried and tried to get this to work and uh, it never would work before because I didn't know the secret uh, but the secret in, in this case at least is that uh, the, the uh, motor and the gyro combination have to be top heavy uh, there has to be more weight on top of the gimbal, the axle, uh, than on the bottom. I tried it with a very heavy uh, gyroscope and uh, it would just uh, fall over, slowly, but it would just fall over. And then I tried it with a very very heavy top motor, uh, more weight up here, and it would fall over. But if I got into the sweet spot, which was right where this zip tie is, so my center of mass is right about there, which is about uh, a centimeter uh, above the uh, gimbal or above the axle and then it started working so uh, I looked and I looked I saw other other uh, people where they had built uh, a self-balancing two-wheeler and uh, but there were no details uh, they wouldn't t they wouldn't say anything about uh, the distribution of weight between the motor and the gyroscope and so uh, I kind of discovered on my own that uh, at least what's working for me is if you put the center of mass right about there uh, it will balance itself and you can see that it is top heavy it, 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 uh, it will sit here but that's just because of the friction with these little rubber doohickeys that I've got holding on the axle so uh, it does uh, seem to work pretty good uh, it shakes and shivers a bit but that's uh, just because I'm using really cheap materials, uh, really flexible materials, and my my CD uh, gyroscope is is definitely out of balance. It's not balanced. So I believe if you used a balanced uh, gyroscope, uh, this thing would uh, wouldn't move at all uh, when it's running. But uh, it, it's working now. So uh, my next step is to try to control. Uh, when, because I want this thing to move forward and backwards and I want to try to control the, the weight uh, uh, that controls the precession of the gyroscope itself and so I'm going to have to do that with a counterweight and I'm going to mount a, a servo on top here and it will swing a counterweight back and forth so even though I push on this thing it will counter that, uh, that uh, movement and uh, I was very, very happy when, uh, and very surprised when it actually started balancing itself. So it is doable. Uh, I wanted to do it with some really cheap materials like these CDs, uh, so that maybe others out there who don't have access uh, to a machine shop uh, where a, they can make a, a nice precision rotor. Uh, uh, I wanted to be, be able to show that even using cheap materials uh, nothing is straight on here everything is kind of crooked and even so if you get it balanced just right this thing will still uh, balance on a two-wheeler 
so uh, I hope uh, some other people will try uh, this little experiment and uh, uh, see where we can go from there.